Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video I would like to talk about using binoculars for astronomy, so for getting into astronomy. So in this video I would like to focus on talking about the adventures and disadventures of starting with binoculars into astronomy. So if you're planning to start with astronomy but still you're unsure whether you should start with binoculars or a telescope, then this video is perfect for you because in this video I would like to talk about both the adventures and disadventures of using or starting with binoculars into astronomy. But now let's get started. First of all, I'd like to start by introducing the advantages to you. So the very first one is that those binoculars are very easy to use. So when comparing those telescopes with binoculars, you will quickly realize that it's very hard to use those telescopes. So, so some of them need a polar alignment process to work and a lot of, of these telescopes um, need special software to run the telescope. So in general, those telescopes are quite complex. But on the other side, it's very easy to use those binoculars because um, it's very easy to set them up. You just attach them to binoculars. So as I did, as you can see in the background, so um, I've attached my binoculars, so these 20 by 80 binoculars to a tripod, and then you can directly start observing the night sky. So it's very, very easy to use them. And that's definitely a big advantage of using or starting with binoculars into astronomy. The next advantage is that those binoculars are very affordable compared to telescopes. So when looking on the market for telescopes and binoculars and when comparing the prices, you will realize that those telescopes can be very, very expensive. So even when buying those very small beginner telescopes, you can invest more than 300 euros and there's no limit, definitely not. So you can invest thousands of euros for a telescope. But on the other side, we're looking for binoculars you will quickly realize that those binoculars are not that expensive. For sure, you can invest thousands of euros for binoculars, but usually those binoculars are not that expensive and are therefore a perfect way to get started into that hobby because they are affordable, as I have already mentioned. The next advantage of using those binoculars is that they do have a very wide field of view. So that specific wide field of view does have two different advantages. So when starting into astronomy, usually you do not know the night sky that much, which means that it might be challenging for you to find objects in the night sky, including galaxies, for example, which is definitely something that's possible with binoculars. And when you have a wide field of view, it's easier for you to find those objects because usually those big telescopes, they do have more magnification and therefore you have a limited field of view. And therefore it's, it's not that easy for you to find those objects in the night sky. So finding those objects is easier with binoculars, definitely because you have a very wide field of view. This is the one advantage of a big wide field of view. And the other one is that in general, you can observe bigger objects. So especially the Milky Way region is very, very interesting in summer, for example. So the entire uh, Milky Way region as I mentioned, it's very interesting. So those telescopes do have a very limited field of view and therefore you will not see the entire Milky region in one framing, unfortunately. With binoculars as well not, but you will achieve a wide field of view which helps you to see different objects, different nebulae in one image. And in general you can see a wider region of the Milky Way if through your binoculars. And furthermore, a big advantage of using those binoculars is that they are portable. So when comparing um, binoculars and telescopes, you will realize that those telescopes are usually very, very heavy. From buying a telescope, you get different pieces. So on the one hand, the optical component, which is, for example, the reflector telescope, and then you will get a mount and a tripod. And in total, that's very, very heavy equipment. But on the other side, those binoculars are very, very portable. So usually they are not that heavy, but that really depends on the, the specific binocular you buy, because there are some binoculars out there that are a bit heavier. So for example, the binocular you can see in the background, which is my biggest binocular, so it's a 20 by 80 binocular. It's a bit heavier compared to the other one I, per I personally use for observing the night sky, but still this one is portable. So as you can see, I've attached it to a tripod, which is something I would definitely recommend when using 20 by 80 binoculars, but there are other binoculars out there as well such as the 10 by 50 for example, and these binoculars are not that heavy and you can even hold them in your hands. So in general, those binoculars are very portable, even those 20 by 80 binoculars. Another advantage is that um, those binoculars are better for viewing larger objects. So not all objects are small in night sky. So there are a few objects in night sky that are very big. So 
for sure there are small objects as well. Say in light sky there are those planets, for example, so you need a lot of magnification to observe those objects. But on the other side, there are very large objects as well, including different star clusters, for example. So the Pleiades star cluster, for example, or the Andromeda galaxy. So when looking through a telescope, you will not see the entire uh, Pleiades star cluster or the entire Andromeda galaxy in one framing. So that's definitely not, not possible, but when using those binoculars, you will definitely see the entire Andromeda galaxy or the entire Pleiades star cluster through your binoculars. So that's definitely something that is a big advantage about using these binoculars for astronomy. Another advantage is that it's easier for you to find objects with these binoculars. So as we mentioned, you don't have that much of magnification, therefore you have a wide field of view which helps you to find those objects easier. And in general, that's definitely something that is very, very helpful because in the beginning, uh, the light sky is definitely something that is new to you. And in this case, a wide field of view is definitely helpful to find those objects easier and faster compared to a telescope. With a telescope, it might be very, very difficult to find those very small objects in the beginning. So that's definitely a very big advantage of starting with binoculars into astronomy. But there are not only advantages when using those binoculars for astronomy, but there are also disadvantages. And now we'd like to talk about these disadvantages of using binoculars for astronomy. The very first uh, disadvantage is definitely um, limited magnification. So as I mentioned, you will have a very wide field of view when, you're, when using those binoculars. And that is definitely something that is not that good for looking at those very small objects, including planets, for example. So these binoculars in the background, they have 20 by 80, which means that they have 20 times magnification, which is quite much for a binocular, but not compared to a telescope. So um, you will not see those very small objects, including planets, for example. So I have observed different objects, and you can see the moons of Jupiter, for example, but you will not see a lot of structures on that planet. In that case, so if you're planning to see structures on those planets, you definitely need to invest into a telescope to see more structures on those objects. But you can definitely see the moon, for example, with binoculars. That's perfect. So there are definitely a lot of objects you can observe with binoculars, including those nebulae or galaxies and different star clusters and even the moon and planets. But when observing planets, the magnification is a bit too low and you will not see those structures on those objects, so on those planets. That is definitely a disadvantage of using those binoculars, but still there are a lot of objects you can observe when using these binoculars for astronomy. Another disadvantage is that those binoculars are not suitable for all objects. Another disadvantage is that those binoculars do have a smaller diameter, and the diameter of the optical component is very, very important in astronomy because a bigger diameter means that you have more light gathering power. And that's very, very important in astronomy because those objects are very dark and therefore a bigger diameter is very important. So as we mentioned, when observing those objects in night sky, it's very important to have a big diameter of the optical component to gather as much light as possible. That's very important. Usually those binoculars do have a smaller diameter, but there are definitely differences between those different binoculars. So when buying those binoculars, definitely make sure to choose binoculars that do have a bigger diameter because that's very important to see structures in those objects, especially in those galaxies and nebulae. Um, the next disadvantage is that those binoculars are not suitable for astrophotography. For sure, you can attach a smartphone or hold your smartphone quite close to the binocular in order to capture an image of the moon, for example. But you will not achieve images of galaxies or nebulae with binoculars. So on one hand, those binoculars are not tracked, which is why you will get star trails when capturing images through these binoculars. And on the other side, they are not built for capturing images of galaxies and nebulae. That's definitely something you have to keep in mind. Still, you can capture images of the moon, for example, and you know, that's definitely possible. But in general, these binoculars are not built for astrophotography. Now to my summary. So if you're planning to get into astronomy and if you'd like to observe objects in the night sky, but still you're not planning to invest hundreds of euros into your setup, then usually those binoculars are the perfect way to get started into astronomy. They are easy to use, they are affordable, they are portable, and it's very easy for you to find objects on night sky. So in general, I would definitely recommend starting with binoculars into astronomy. But if you're planning to get a closer view of planets, for example, then I would rather go over to those telescopes. But So in the next few weeks, there will follow a few other videos about using 
uh, a telescope for astronomy about adventures and disadventures. And in a few weeks, I would like to upload a longer video in which I compare telescopes and binoculars in a bit more detail. So definitely make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss that specific video. So if you are planning to buy binoculars to observe the night sky, um, I've made a few videos about bin using binoculars for astronomy. I will link all of those videos at the end of this video. So I made a video about the 20 by 80 binoculars, which you can see in the background as well. Uh, so I made a, a video about these binoculars. So if you're interested in that, uh, definitely make sure to watch the entire video. So I will link all of those videos about binoculars at the end of this video. If this guide and this video in general was helpful to you, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.